Um, I would just, well, what I did, I just went onto the web, started learning blogs and whatnot. I stumbled across some really good standards blogs that talk about good web development so on early on, and just self-taught myself from there. It may not be the best for everybody, but it works pretty well. There's a lot of good information out there. If you avoid w3schools.com, and there's another one or two that work really badly. Um, but if you stick to like individual web developer blogs, find somebody who really seems like they have a clue about what they're talking about or that other people are referencing, those are the best places to learn. A uh, good place like html5doctor.com or css3tricks.com written by Chris Coyer. Those are good blogs for just informational stuff and learning a lot of great various tricks and whatnot. And just explore and figure out what's going on on your own unfortunately. I, because I was self-taught, I knew absolutely nothing about web dev five years ago and I taught myself entirely from that. So I don't really know how to teach people conventionally. Yeah. But I okay, I like that answer. Thank you very much. All right. If you want to keep up with what's going on in CSS, subscribe to our blog. Uh, we post all of the new drafts that we publish, resolutions that are going through in the working group. Um, you won't get an extract of all of the details, but you'll get a good overview of what's happening in CSS and what's changing.